Welcome to the Round 11 Injury Report, brought to you by AIA Vitality. I'm just going to run through the health of the list, starting with um, the game on Sunday against Port Adelaide. Um, so we had Tay Adams. So Tay Adams originally was penciled in to return to play this week coming against um, Geelong. Um, that was back, backed off the criteria of um, going through two contested sessions last week in training uh, and building confidence through that, say, that small set of games, tackling and contest. Uh, and the fact that we had two training sessions last week, um, he was able to tick them off during last week's training sessions through the Tuesday and the Thursday that allowed um, Tay, as I say, to tick those final boxes into, into the game. Um, so Tay, Tay played out the game, um, pulled, pulled up generally sore, as, as most would expect for the first game return to, tra um, return to play. Um, so, so Tay will be um, yeah, main trainer this week and put his hand up again once more. Cal Brown had a little AC joint um, sprain, grade one, so it's pretty low level. I say he'll full contact train on, on Thursday and put his hand up for selection again this week. Uh, Bo McCreary uh, had a little soleus cast strain, so he'll be out for one to two games. So Bo's had some pretty heavy loads um, since he's gone into the AFL system and has put in a lot of work behind the scenes and trying to get up for games each week. Um, but unfortunately for Bo, um, at the end of the game, pulled up sore um, with, that, with that calf, had a scan yesterday and it says really low level. Um, strain in there that'll see him sort of one to two weeks on the sidelines. Josh Thomas, so Josh um, rolled his ankle right on the end of the first quarter, um, got strapped up and played out the game, pulled up with a pretty swollen ankle off the back of that um, and he'll be a genuine test on, on Thursday's main training so at the minute doesn't have a lot of pain, um, just very swollen that ankle joint and we won't know until um, we functionally assess him through main training on Thursday, so we'll update you post that. Then within the rehab crew, so Coxie um, got that hit to the larynx last week when competing with Brody Grundy in, in a rock contest out here in training. He'll have an appointment at 3.45 with a specialist just to provide uh, an update on when he's able to slip back into full contact training and be available for selection. So last week we were working off the guidance that it would be sort of one to two week um, time on the sidelines. So as I say, we'll get further update today um, with his appointment this afternoon and provide more clarity around Coxie. Um, but we would expect that he would be definitely out this week and assess for next week to full train and play. Uh, Billy Elliott going really well with his rehab, so he's at his end stage of rehab. He will enter into full training uh, unrestricted this week, um, participate in the full ground match simulation on Thursday, and then we'll have a top-up session then, specific to role conditioning, high intensity movements, and, and rep repeat leads and agility. So Billy's had a really good block the last three or four weeks, and I say this is a final stage. And then with Billy off the back of this week, it's looking to really freshen him up and taper him, and allow him to put his hand up then for the round 12 game in Adelaide. Jeremy Howe, as we touched on last week, had the, um, the scar tissue surgery. And again, just to provide clarity again around that, so um, Jeremy hasn't got any actual damage to the hamstring muscle itself. It was to remove a mechanical uh, imposition that was, or an impingement that was basically causing him um, an inability to fully function with that hamstring. So the fact now that that has been removed through surgery will allow Howe now to progress over the next few weeks and start building back into low-level running program and building function from there. So um, he'll have a review on Friday, um, and then we'll be able to provide more clarity around a return to play. But originally, it was how it was suggested somewhere around that eight weeks mark would be um, with the timeline for the return to play for Jeremy. Uh, Levi Greenwood, uh, status quo with the concussion symptoms, so still not fully cleared from those um, concussive symptoms of four weeks ago. So at the minute, he's going through some low-level cardio training and non-contact football skills at the minute. Um, so again, it's, it's, it's a bit of a status quo with Levi um, at this stage. Uh, Reef McInnes, um, that ankle synosmosis injury. So Reef is, is that early stage rehab. So he's, he's in the bike at the minute, still in his moon boot uh, and doing some strength work in the gym. He'll progress out of that boot in the next two weeks and go into his low level running and then follow a similar program to Billy Elliott where he'll build up his straight line running capacity and then uh, gradually move into football movements and progress into training after that. So probably another two weeks before you see Reef out on the track um, running out of that moon boot. So we've got at this stage planned double header at the G. So AFL against Geelong this week, um, followed by the curtain closer um, with the VFL. So should be a really great day to, to have both teams over at the G. Um, we've got good selection available this week and good for those young boys off the back of that VFL bye last week to freshen up and bring their best and put their hand up for AFL selection. So let's hope we have two big performances on the G9 on Saturday. Um, let's get two wins and um, progress from there. Let's go, Pies.